Okay guys, so ang topic natin ngayon is speak and effective value. So, paano pa mag-solve ng problem sa registered muscle electrician ng peak and effective value? Okay, so halimbawa, mayroon tayong problem dito. A sinusoidal current wave which has an effective value of 10 ampere has a maximum value of. Okay, so ang hinahanap dito is maximum value. May given siya na effective value. So, paano ba ito ito sinusolve? Okay, so bago tayo pumunta sa problem na ito, ipapaliwanag ko muna sa inyo kung ano yung peak and effective value. Okay, simulan natin. So, sa AC, meron tayong tinatawag na sinusoidal wave. Okay, so ito yung sinusoidal wave natin. Okay? Sa sinusoidal wave natin, meron tayo dyan na uh, peak and effective value. Okay? So, ito yung zero reference natin. So, ito yung 90. Ito yung 180. 270. Then, sa 360 or 0. Okay? So, ito yung 1 cycle. Okay? So, 1 cycle natin meron tayo dyan na uh, peak value, effective value, then average value. Okay? So, asan ba yung peak value nyan? So, yung peak value na yan, ito yun. Yan. Ayan yung peak. Okay? So, peak value Next, meron ding effective value. Okay. So, ito is effective value. Then, meron pa ang isa. Average value. So, halos nasa sentro siya. Average value. Okay. So, <clears throat> ito yung zero value natin zero value so ano ba yung peak value effective value then average value okay so sa ating uh, multi-tester halimbawa nagsukat ka ng voltage kapag nagsukat ka ng voltage ang nasusukat mo lang is yung kanyang effective value. Hindi mo nasusukat yung peak value. Okay? So, sa mga, <coughs> yan, sa voltmeter. Pero ngayon, yung may mga kalampameter na nasusukat niya na yung peak value. So, yung kalampameter natin, di ba, current? So, nasusukat niya na yung peak value sa mga makabagong kalampameter. Okay? So, itong effective value na to, at peak value, mayroon siyang formula katulad itong average value, may mga formula sila so una is yung peak value so ito yung formula na to, derived formula na to so peak value is effective value effective times 1.4 1.4 So itong formula na to is derive for derive ano na siya uh, derive formula na to Okay so na derive na siya na times 1.414 Next effective value para siya makuha ito ay peak value times 0 0.707 Then the average value is peak times point six three seven. So, ito yung mga derived formula. Masabi ko nga kanina, yung effective value, ito yung isipaling nasusukat ng ating mga uh, multi-tester. Halimbawa na kung sukat ka ng voltage, 220, 230. Ano susukat mo lang is effective value. 
Kung gusto mong malaman kung ano yung peak value niya, kailangan mong gamitin yung formula ng peak value na kung saan yung effective value na nakuha mo, i-multiply mo ng 1.414. Okay. So, ito yung effective value, ibang tawag dyan is RMS value. Effective value So, aka also known as uh, RMS. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng RMS is root mean square. Okay? So, root mean square. So, kung gusto mo namang malaman yung effective value niya, So, peak value times 0.707 Then, kung average value naman Peak, peak value times 0.637 So, kailangan alam natin itong uh, formula na ito kapag magtitake ng board exam Kasi katulad nga ng problem kanina So, balikan natin So, ito yung problem Ayan So, analyze natin siya So, sabi A sinusoidal current wave which has an effective value of 10 ampere. So, sinusoidal. Ayan. Sinusoidal. So, yung sinusoidal. Ito yan. So, yan. Ito yung sinusoidal. Okay. So, sa AC. Alternating current. Okay. Has an effective value of 10 ampere. So, ano yung kanyang maximum value? So, ang tinatanong is maximum value. So, maximum value, that is also peak value. Okay? So, ito yung peak value, it's also a, ito, yung, ito rin yung maximum value. So, paano natin siya isasolve? Okay, hey, so madali lang. So, ang given natin is effective value effective value which is 10 ampere. So, ang formula para makuha yung maximum value peak value is equal to effective value effective value times 1.414 Okay So effective value natin is 10 ampere times 1.414 So using this calculator 10 times 1.414 is equal to Okay, so naka fraction siya. So, switch natin sa decimal. So, 14.14. So, the answer is 14.14 ampere. Ito yung peak value. Ayan. Sa choices, siya ay letter A. So, ganyan lang kasimple guys yung pag-solve na peak and effective value. O kung sasama yung average value, so meron namang formula. Okay, so sige, mag-sample pa tayo ng isa pang problem. So, erase natin to So, number 2 problem. What is the peak? Hmm. 
voltage of 120 volt effective circuit okay so dito sa problem na to hinahanap is peak voltage ulit okay so peak voltage so kung peak sya ang given nya is 120 volts na effective circuit okay so sulatin natin ano yung mga choices dito so A, B, C, D so 120 volts 170 volts 190 volts 208 volts so yung given natin meron kang effective value or RMS so diba pwede natin uh, sabihin na effective value is the same with uh, RMS so pareho lang sila Okay, so RMS of the effective value is equals to 120 volts. Ibig sabihin ito yung nasukat ng multimeter o voltmeter. So, ang hinahanap is yung peak, peak value or maximum value. So, yung formula natin kanina para makuha yung peak value ito ay equal sa effective value times 1.414 okay so gamitin ulit natin itong calculator so what is the effective value 120 volts times 1.414 120 times 1.414 69.68 So the answer is 169.68 volts So sa choices, tingnan natin So choices Walang 169.68 volts Okay Pero sa board exam Kung ano yung mas pinakamalapit na value dito, yun ang tamang sagot. Okay, so ang pinakamalapit sa choices sa so 169.68 ay letter B. So 170 volts. So minsan kasi sa mga choices sa board exam, hindi siya sakto kung ano yung lumabas sa calculator mo. So minsan kailangan mo hanapin kung ano yung pinaka malapit na sagot base dun sa computed value mo. Okay. So, sample number 3 tayo para mas uh, mapamilyarize tayo. So, barahin natin to. So, pwede nyo kopihin yung mga yan. Okay. So, number 3. What is the Effective current of sixty ampere peak. Okay, so sa problem na to na sukat nyo yung peak which is sixty ampere. So inanap dito naman is yung <laughs> effective value. Okay, so, so, formula natin, uh, sulit mo na ulit natin yung mga choices. So, letter A, 42 ampere, B, 60 ampere, 72 ampere, may, mayroong nakalagay dito, 80 ampere. So, ano ang formula sa pagkuha ng effective. So, ang discuss natin kanina yun. Okay, so, effective value is equal to peak 
times 0 0.707. Okay. So, peak times 0 0.707. So, pwede rin ba maging formula niya is effective is equal effective value is equal to peak value peak value divided by 1.414 ito dinerive lang natin to dun sa formula kanina ng peak value na kung saan yung peak value para makuha multiply mo yung effective value times 1.414 so magkaiba sila ng formula okay so tingnan natin kung pareho yung sagot so ano muna yung given so ang given is 60 ampere lagyan natin dito given 60 ampere so ang hinahanap is yung effective so ito yung peak value natin So, gamitin mo natin itong unang formula. So, peak value So, 60 ampere times 0.707 So, the answer is 42.42 .42. Okay, so sa choices ang pinakamalapit so 42 so letter A yung sagot so ito yung effective value so ginamit natin itong formula na ito nasa taas ngayon naman gamitin natin ito para yung sagot so ito yung derived formula galing dun sa kaninang uh, formula na ginagamit natin sa pagkuha ng peak value kung saan yung peak value is equals to the effective value times 1.414 so try natin to So, division naman siya. Ang peak value is 60 ampere divided by 1.414. Okay. So, pareho din. So, 42.43. So, malapit ka pa rin sa 42. Okay. So, pareho lang sila. So, pwede nyo gamitin itong dalawang formula na yan sa pagkuha ng Uh, effective value okay, kahit sa peak value pwede mo rin kasing gamitin peak value is equal to effective value divided by 0.707 so kahit ano pwede mong gamitin okay, basta mag marunong ka lang din uh, mag derive ng formula base dun sa binigay na formula kasi hindi naman kailangan natin memorihin lahat ng formula Kailangan marunong din, marunong din tayong mag-derive. Okay? So, yan yung last problem ng peak and effective value. Okay? So, simple-simple lang guys, no? So, dyan lang muna yung video natin. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe para marami pa ang matuto.